welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Coach Cheyenne and I'm in beautiful sunny Florida. As you can see with the palm trees behind me, I'm going to teach you how you pack your golf bag when you're traveling. Hence, you need a travel bag. Follow me. bag already and the hardest part for me is when you want to close it. So I'm going to show you how to close it to start and then I'll show you how I add my golf bag in the travel bag. So if you come a little bit closer, the specific bag that I have has this flap on top which you need to bend and close and tuck in there first. Grab the outside bits flip them in and this automatically will want to close and look how tiny it becomes then you have little clips on the side stick it in there other clip stick it in there small then you can put this in storage or wherever it is when you're ready to travel but right now I'm headed back to Canada so I need to open this up and same thing undo the clips and it, it's so easy, it just opens up by itself, open the flaps, and extend the middle portion in. Out, actually. Okay, now for the fun part. If you don't know what to already have in your golf bag, you need to watch my previous video on what you put in a golf bag. 10 items that you must have, and the link will be at the end of this video. So, I have my golf bag ready to rock and roll. I have all my clubs. I have taken extra golf balls with me because I, I'm i usually in a rush and don't want to buy wherever I'm traveling to. I want to make sure I have my tees, my golf balls, some of the, just the basic things from the video you would have already watched. One of the things I do is I actually undo my towel and I put my towel if it wants to undo. I put it in between my clubs so they don't bang around. So I put them in between. I kind of tuck it like this. I do a much better job. You get the point. So I tuck them in there. I have my head covers for my woods and my driver. The butt of the bag, the bottom of the bag. So you need to hold it with two hands. The bottom of the bag has to go in first. So if you have somebody at home that can help you, bonus. If not, like me, it takes me a minute to wiggle, waggle, and try and stick it in. My driver is too long, so I might pull it out and put it like in a bottom compartment to make sure that it fits. Like this. There we go. And if you come closer, you'll be able to see that there are actually little like seatbelt clips in here that you can just pick, clip, pull the tag. So my specific bag has two, so I grab both of those, clip, and it's nice and secure. I have extra pockets on the side here. You can put whatever you want, really. Some people even put their golf clothes, like their shorts and their shirts and their visors and hats in here. I always put my golf shoes in here just because I don't want them in my other luggage. But really, this is up to you on how you want to um, pack. What I suggest is if you have any liquids, put them in extra bags like sunscreen and things, bug spray, things you want to take. I would put them in an extra like Ziploc bag and stick it in here because they do bash this around. So it's not going to be beautifully placed like how you would like it to be placed. They literally take this luggage and just throw it. So make sure you expect that so you don't open it and have sunscreen all over the place and disastrous. But to seal the deal, you have the top part, two zippers on both sides, and wheels. Now, if you have a golf bag, and if you're looking for a travel bag, I highly suggest that you find a bag that maneuvers and moves all four ways, not just one way, because when you're at the airport, it, you're gonna struggle with it. So this bag, I can move it just like a regular suitcase. I can move it forward, sideways, very agile. And it has handles all over. 
this is my height. It's kind of ridiculous, <laughs> but this is what it is. And this bag, if you don't have a weighing scale at home, my current golf bag weighs about like 30 to 35 pounds. So I know I have about 15 pounds to like juggle with in terms of sticking more clothes in there or whatever else I want to stick in there in terms of liquids that I have. This also counts as a regular um, suitcase luggage, so it doesn't have to be a specialty one. So it's just the regular fee that the airline will charge you for an extra bag. But this is usually me. Okay, push and walk. I hope this video helped you. I would love to hear in the comments below how you pack your golf bag. I'm sure everyone has a different way of doing it and what essential items you put in your bag when you're traveling. Safe travels, see you next week. Thank you.